What's good, YouTube? This your boy Quinway Basketball and Easto Basketball Analysis coming to you with a quick video up on Trey Burt getting traded to the Wizards for a 2021 second round pick and Yan Mahimi signing a four year $64 million deal with the Wizards. Now, these are great pickups because they need more of a bench. I know people are going to get mad at me. Oh, well, they don't got a superstar. They don't got KD. They don't got Harrison Barnes. But I do think that this is a good pickup because they do need depth. That's one thing that they always struggle with, which was having a bench. Trey Burt isn't a superstar. He is a player that's developing. He is a player that is getting better. He is a player that did play better minutes last year than he ever played. I like Trey Burt. He just too, he's not athletic enough to play on the NBA level. He just don't have the body. He just don't have the athleticism, but he still figures out a way to get it done to a certain extent because he's not efficient when he scores. But with that being said, I'd rather have Trey Burke than nothing. And on top of that, he still is young and he still has confidence. He still has swagger and he still feels like he can play on this level. So he's going to be coming back with a vengeance and he get a fresh new start. So he's going to want to have something to prove. Now, Yamahimi is a proven veteran that knows how to score, knows how to post up, is an NBA champion, does the little things that matter most. And he's a he likes to rebound. He likes to post up. He can play defense. He is another big that can go under Martian Gortat. Like I said, this is for depth because they get him on a cheap, affordable contract. Got the same deal as Mozgov. He plays the same role as Mozgov. They just needed another center and another power forward just in case somebody get injured or just in case somebody. Uh, just can't stay healthy in the playoffs. They have another backup plan with Yamahimi, who is a proven veteran, like I said. So I like these two pickups for depth. They needed it, and these players both play hard. They both got good work ethic. They both is professionals, and they both will bearing positive energy. But I don't think the Wizards are done in the free agency. I think they have more to do than just this if they want to make the playoffs and if they want to be a championship contender. They need to at least get Harrison Barnes an offer sheet. They need to at least uh, try to find John Wall or the CBSI or the Porter is too because he has to develop quicker for this team because they didn't even make the playoffs last year. That's how rough the East is. Remember I told you guys the East is only getting better. Detroit is better. Toronto is better this year. You got Atlanta. You got Boston. You got the Cavs. You got the Heat. You have so many teams that can – you got so many teams that can make the playoffs this year just in the East. The NBA <clears> – <throat> It's getting tougher. The The talent pool is up. People kept trying to say that the talent pool was down. The talent pool is up because the East and the West are both stacked now uh, when it comes to talent. Let me know what you guys think. Comment, like, subscribe, and share. Look at my uh, Facebook fan page, analysisplayground.com. There you can find the same videos you find on there, but I just want you to support the, the fan page by liking it. Also, go to my website, analysisplayground.com. Sign up for the newsletter there. You can get notifications when there's new videos on the website. Also, you can get uh, NBA breakdowns, NBA tributes, and NBA rookie analysis with, with real game footage breakdowns exclusively only up on analysisplayground.com. Let me know what you guys think. Quinn Wade, basketball analysis signing out. Let me know what you think in the comment section below.